Today we will be bringing back our old friend Weber as we'll be discussing social action. Let's first define social action, as Weber did, as the sum of behavior and subjective meaning and meaning in relation to others. So, if we break this down, behavior plus subjective meaning is action. Behavior is involuntary, like breathing or sneezing, whereas action causes social meaning. So that means action plus relative objectivity gives us social action. This means when we act, it is most obviously has meaning to us, but it also has meaning to those around us, or those who are affected by us, and that is what makes an action become a social one. Weber also defined four types of social action, which are all based upon the subjective meaning of an individual's intentions. The first being traditional action. This is the type of social action which can be represented through traditions or rituals. It is something we do out of habit, something that is passed on generationally. For example, Leon and his family decorate their Christmas tree each year. This does not only hold value in Leon's mind, but is meaningful for his whole family, as it is a tradition which they have carried on for years and simply because it has always been carried out so. Traditional values, however, do not have to be emotionally meaningful, but carry their value in their Competitiveness. The second type is effective action, which occurs as a spontaneous product of our emotions. Leon is effectively acting when he cries after seeing his siblings during the holidays for the first time in a long time. He is brought to tears. He emotes sadness and joy at the sight of his quickly aging little siblings. For the third type of social action, we have value rational, which refers to doing what we do based on our values. There is no rationale beyond these values, so why do we act in a value rational way? Well, because we should, right? But then why should we act this way? Well, because we should act in accordance with our values. In Leon's case, this type of action is taken when he buys his cousin, who cannot afford to come home, a plane ticket to surprise his family for the holidays, as Leon believes all families should be reunited for the holidays regardless of the money they have in their pockets. By purchasing this ticket, he is also expressing this value and acts in accordance with it. The last type of social action is that of means and rational, which refers to the steps we take to carry out a plan, which follows logics of mean to an end. This is expressed by Leon's secrecy the week leading up to Christmas. As he wanted to keep his cousin's homecoming a surprise, he knew he had to keep to himself and fib a bit in order not to ruin the surprise, even if that gave off a weird impression to his other relatives. According to Weber, these four types are ideal types of social action, and in reality, we will rarely see them in this pure form. It is far more common to see a combination of these four types. It's also important to keep in mind that the order of the social action types is meaningful, because as we go down the list, we can see a progression towards rationality, which you can learn more about in our video titled Modernization as Rationalization. That's all we have for this video. Thanks for listening. Until next time.